What is up guys? Welcome back for another Battle Factory live today. We're just going to be having a very fun live. Just a couple of announcements before we get this started. Um, a, couple of, uh, a couple of LPs that are starting on the channel. One of them is a tag lock that I'm doing with pretty much everybody in the NBA. Uh, the big players. And... Um, we, uh, we're going to be bouncing this lock between channels. If you don't know what a tag lock is, uh, it's basically you do a Nuzlock, standard Nuzlock rules, uh, but you bounce it from one channel to the next. Like You stop after like 30 minutes and you pass it on to the next person and they pick up with your save file, which is really cool. It's a really cool concept. Uh, basically, you have to have a lot of trust uh, in, uh, in, everybody, in everybody else that's playing with you, basically. So uh, it's really cool. And uh, the other announcement is that by the time this comes out, I should have my second computer screen and uh, should be getting started on uh, my LP with Rob. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, start that tomorrow night. I'm recording this on Tuesday, fourth wall broken, but anyway, so that's uh, pretty much the two announcements that I wanted to make. Uh, let's jump right into this and uh, we'll see if we can pick up a couple of wins. Again, if, it, if we don't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we get uh, Ubers right here. So, uh, not the standard Ubers teams that you see, there's no Xerneas on either side, there's no uh, Eveltal, no Primal Groudon, so, kind of weird stuff. Uh, I really like Deoxys Attack, um, this match uh, puts in a lot of work on my opponent's team. It doesn't have, uh, well it has low kick, so that's nice for Blissey. Uh, I think I actually just want to lead off with Klefki right here, as he leads off with Zekrom, so it's not the worst matchup in the world for me, but it's not the best. I'm actually just going to go for a Toxic right here. Uh, get off a little bit of residual damage on this thing as he does go for the bolt strike and that knocks me out so that seems to be choice banded in some way uh choice banded in some way just cho choice banded in general um now we can pretty much safely go into rcs right here uh, i'm just gonna fire off uh an ice beam on this thing we should be able to take a bolt strike no problem and we i think we are faster as well as we are yep um we are Arceus Grass, which means his Kyogre can't really switch in. He actually chooses to go into his Arceus Poison, take 16%, no freeze. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I do have a pretty good check to this in Genesect, uh, as this thing typically doesn't run anything for it. Uh, he goes for the Thunder Wave, so that slows us down. Unfortunately, we are Choice Scarfed, so that's going to uh, hinder us a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to go for the uh, Iron Head right here, though, because it hits something on his team, so... Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. He goes for the Recover, that's fine. We're going to go for the Iron Head. Does 20%, so absolutely nothing. A lot less than I thought it would. Um, kind of want to just go into... Uh... I'm going to go for another Iron Head as he switches on to Kyogre. Uh, it's Primal, alright, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to go for another Iron Head, but we actually get fully paralyzed on that turn, so that's unfortunate. Um, Arceus uh, Grass is faster than this thing. I don't expect him to Ice Beam on this turn. He is just going to throw out a Skull, that's fine. Uh, we do have the Grass Knot for this thing, so that's nice. Um, I'm actually going to pull a double, I think, into Deoxys, is my play, predicting the, um, the Arceus Poison to come out. Uh, yeah, let's go for, let's go for that. We'll switch into the, uh, Deoxys attack here. It goes for a nice beam, we're pretty much dead, but, uh, we'll see what he wants to do. As he uh, does go for the Ice Beam, and that is going to Oko us, actually. Okay. Alright, so my opponent's not really making any predictions. Uh, so I'm going to go into Arceus again. Uh, just going to go for the Grass Knot. I guess he thinks that I can't hit him. Or not. Never mind. Alright, so he does play that very, very well. That actually did 20%, so about the same as Ice Beam, which is funny because that's a resisted hit. But uh, we'll go for the... Oh, well, it's base 144. That makes sense. Uh, we'll go into Deancey here, actually. Uh, on his uh, poison jab, so that's going to do a little bit of damage. He actually gets the poison, so really unfortunate for us. And I'm just going to throw out a uh, stealth rocks right here. He goes for the uh, recover as we get up some stealth rocks, and now we will be able to go for the diamond storm, get off a little bit of damage on this thing. This game is pretty much lost. Uh, he had it on team matchup alone, I think. Uh, poison jab is going to be able to take us out right there, and now I pretty much have to play with uh, my three ice beaming mons. Everything on my team had ice beam, apparently. Uh, yep, that did. Four out of six had Ice Beam. So let's go for Explosion as he goes for a Defog. We'll see how much this does. Uh, does a pathetic 43% and now we have to play off of a Freeze basically. Uh, let's just go for that. He wins at this point, it doesn't even matter. But um, yeah, no, there's no way I can pull this back. I would need to like try to play around Blissey switching in and out. Uh, he is going to go for the Recover right there and I'm just going to forfeit him. I'm not going to waste your time guys. We're going to jump into the next one right here. And hopefully get a better tier uh, than Ubers, because Ubers just has a bunch of uh, very, very strong mons, and then a very uh, a bunch of very weak ones like Greninja that doesn't do anything in the tier but set up spikes, so. Uh, we're gonna get PU. This is a cool tier. 
Uh, I really like uh, Choice Banded Basculin, but this one's Life Orb actually, which might actually end up playing to our favor because of the Swana. Ooh, okay. It's looking like a pretty good matchup for us. Um, I'm just gonna lead off with uh, Zeb Strika because we are. Oh, we're Sap Sipper. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I like. I like Basculin, but at the same time, like it's kind of predictable. Let's go for Golem. As he leads off with Stunfist, that's awesome. Uh, we can pretty much just get up our rocks or Earthquake. It's up to us, really. I think I'm just gonna Earthquake, honestly. Uh, if he switches out into Swana, then good play, I guess. But there's nothing I can do about that. He does have two uh, Pokemon, well, three Pokemon that are very weak to um, to Stealth Rocks. So he does pull a switch in, into Misdreavus, actually. Uh, he is Levitate, of course. Uh, we're gonna go for Stealth Rocks. We'll see what this thing has for us. He goes for the Will O Wisp and misses, unfortunately, for my opponent. And uh, we're going to switch into Zeb Striker because that thing doesn't care about a burn at all. So he's going to go for the Will O Wisp. And he does have the uh, Stun Fisk, which I'm expecting kind of to come out right here. Uh, what's my play? I think I go. Yeah, I think I just go for the, uh, the Overheat right here. As that does absolutely nothing to this thing. And he's going to go more than likely for a Hex. Actually, he has Shadow Ball. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to go for the... Uh, we're actually going to Volt Switch here. I thought we were Choice Lock, but we're Life Orb. So, uh, actually, Thunderbolt's the better play, for sure. 100% of the time. Because uh, if he brings in, like, Articuno or something, at least I get a hit off on it. Which isn't bad. Uh, bring in Swana. Like, <laughs> predict my overheat again and just go into Swana. That'd be awesome. Just knock that thing out immediately. But, um... Yeah, no, I think uh, Basculin is going to pretty much be able to win us this game. He actually chooses to go into Cryogonal, so we're going to get off a little bit of chip damage on this thing, which is not bad at all. Uh, going to go into Basculin, which should be able to knock this thing out with an Aqua Jet. And he doesn't really have a switch in at this point. I'm going to go for Aqua Jet. It is going to be able to knock out the Cryogonal because it has piss poor defenses. And uh, I don't expect Zeb Striker to come out necessarily, because that also has very bad defenses. Maybe Swana. We'll see. We are Life Orb with Hidden Power Electric, which is really nice. Uh, Articuno can also come out and freeze dry us, so we gotta watch out for that. I might just switch into uh, into Mr. Mime at that point and just throw off a Psychic. So uh, he does choose to go into Substrike actually, and um, I don't see him going for Hidden Power Ice on this turn, so I'm just gonna go for uh, the switch into Golem. If he does go for Hidden Power Ice, kudos to him. But uh, he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt, awesome. And we are going to go for the Stone Edge here. Hopefully catch his Mistrevis on the switch. That'd be awesome. As he does go into Swana, actually, uh, which is probably even better, because we get rid of that thing, which is a huge threat to our team. And uh, I can see Articuno coming in here, for sure. Uh, we do still have the Sturdy online and the Custap Berry. He's gonna go into Mistrevis. I'm actually gonna switch into Mr. Mime on this turn. Uh, expecting the uh, Will-O-Wisp as he does go for that awesome and uh, we should be faster than this thing we are and I can just throw out a Shadow Ball at this point and knock this thing out awesome so we're able to get rid of his Misdreavus which was a big annoyance to my Golem we should be able to pick up this game uh, the Cuss Tap is gonna come into play and just allow me to Earthquake the entirety of his team uh, it goes into Substrika, which is obviously faster than us, but it cannot knock us out with any one hit. So I'm just going to throw out a Psychic at this point. He goes for the Hidden Power Ice, gets a crit, not a big deal. Takes the Life Orb damage and takes a Psychic and gets knocked out. So, goodbye to that thing. And I think we outspeed Ar Articuno as well. It's relatively slow. Uh, he brings in Stun Fist, though. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for the uh, Psychic right here. And uh, get off a little bit of chip damage on this thing. He should go for Rocks. Uh, he actually goes for Earth Power, so that's cool. And uh, now we can go into Basculin and fire off a Waterfall. So that's cool. Yep, that's my play every time. Uh, and get rid of the Stun Fisk. Does he get the Static? No, he does not, which means we will be able to get off an Aqua Jet on the uh, Articuno before going down. So that's awesome. Uh, I might also want to just Hidden Power Electric. Yeah, we're faster than this thing, right? Wait, then why wouldn't I just Waterfall? Yeah. Knock it out. There we go. <laughs> what am I even thinking about? All right, cool. So we're able to pick up that second game. Uh, let's get a third one right here. We're only at nine minutes. That's really good. And I had a one minute rant at the beginning of the video. So it's about four minute battles right here. Really like that. Nice and short. Let's see what tier we get next. That's what's really fun about Battle Factory over random battles is that it's just like it's specified to a tier. So you get to learn uh, a lot about it. And at the same time, like it's an even matchup, you know, 
you don't really have uh, you can have a terrible matchup even within the tier but it's a lot less likely so uh, not a lot of people playing battle factory apparently because this is taking a while to find a battle let's see uh, let's see how many people are playing uh, battle factory okay uh, so just shut me out right there uh, 35 35 battles going on right now we get are you uh, which is a live that I was gonna do this week and opted not to uh, so <laughs> that's kind of funny um, Tempted to just lead Pillowswine here. Uh, it has a pretty good lead matchup against almost everything on my opponent's team. Uh, as I will do that. Uh, Earthquakes, one, two, three, four members. And, uh, yeah, and this is one of them. Uh, his entire team is grounded, so he's not going to appreciate an Earthquake at all. I'm not even going to go gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, he's going to go for the Flamethrower. That is not going to be able to knock us out, thanks to the Thick Vat. And we are able to eliminate the Mega Camera up right off the bat. And he forfeits. All right, so next battle. Uh, that's three wins. Uh, sorry, two wins, one loss. Uh, let's try to get like a six and one record today because <laughs> we're only at 11 minutes. Uh, let's see how many uh, wins we can actually pick up in this tier. Or uh, these tiers, rather. Uh, like I said before, there's only 35 battles going on, guys. So I am going to pause it right here and we will be right back. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we get Ubers again. Uh, my, my opponent doesn't seem to have a very solid answer to Lugia. From what I can see, depends if that's Arceus Dark or uh, Giratina is not bad, but it gets toxic stalled. I mean, we don't have Roost. Uh, we do have Roost. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, how many th things on our team have Ice Beam? Can we count them? One, two, uh, only two this time. Awesome. Okay, cool. That I can work with. Let's see. Um, I like leading with Greninja because of the Focus Sash. Uh, it's pretty much my best lead overall. Uh, Kiram's not bad because of the specs. Uh, yeah, let's lead with Greninja. It's an obvious lead, but I mean, whatever. Um, we'll find out if that's E-Killer as well. What kind of Arceus are we actually? Uh, we're Arceus Dragon, so not that great. Uh, I'm just going to taunt this thing, because I don't want him getting up rocks. It's more than likely his rocker, as he does get taunted. We, he goes for the Precipice Blades, knocks us down for to our sa uh, to our Sash, excuse me. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a layer of Toxic Spikes. It's going to be able to hit uh, three out of six of his members, which is pretty good. Goes for the Lava Plume, knocks us out, that's fine. As uh, now what I can do is go into, this thing is uh, is a problem, isn't it? I can go into a Kyurem and just fire off a uh, Choice Specs Ice Beam or Earth Power. I think Ice Beam is the better play. Uh, yep, let's go for that. I could predict the, uh, the Scizor coming in, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, Draco might actually be my play here. Yeah, I'm going to go for Draco Meteor. Because it two hit KOs this Groudon, if not one hit KOs, uh, with this massive 658 special attack. Good god. Uh, definitely takes out Palkia. Uh, Giratina drops. Ho might live, depending on its investment. Uh, don't know what kind of Arceus that is yet. And I do want to get off some damage on the Scizor. I don't think he would switch in a Scizor on a Kyurem. Uh, I mean, technically by typing it has good matchup. But I do get access to Fusion Flare, so I don't know if he knows that. He is going to switch out. He's going to go directly into Ho'o to take this Choice Specs Draco Meteor. Um, he does not have Leftovers, which means this is a potential to hit KO right here. Um, and I'm going to go for it. I'm not even going to uh, to mess around with that. He can switch into a Scizor right here, which he does, so good play. Uh, and we actually get a crit on his Scizor and knock it out. <laughs> oh, that's really unfortunate, man. Oh, well, I mean... Uh, it happens. We've only lost one Pokemon, and it was our Spikes lead, so... Uh, eventually, he's gonna have to go into something that gets hit by Toxic Spikes. Uh, he has... Unless it's Arceus Flying, he has three Pokemon that do. So that's really cool. Chooses to go into Ho, so good play. I don't really have a very good switch into this. Uh, actually, what am I talking about? I have an Arceus Dragon right here. Uh, this is pretty much uh, safe all around. He goes for the Sacred Fire. Does not get the burn, so kind of lucky for us. I'm just gonna go for a Calm Mind. And uh, I can pretty much knock something out at this point. He does forfeit, so that is 3-1 uh, and one at this point, at 14 minutes in. All right, let's keep going. Uh, here we get RU once again. We haven't gotten OU or UU yet, so or NU for that matter. We've cycled it between the same tiers, basically, until now. Um, let's lead off with uh, Seismitoad, because it has a pretty good lead matchup against everything except for the Manectric because of HP Grass, uh, and maybe even the, um, the Sigalyph. He leads off with Omastar. We actually have Grass Knot on this set, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to go for it right here as he goes for the Stealth Rocks, and uh, he gets knocked down to Sash. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks on my own as he goes for Spikes. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I do have a Rapid Spinner and him only that I'm going to go out into immediately. 
as he goes for the, let's find out, uh, another layer of spikes. He does have a ghost, but I'm not too concerned because I have knockoff. So let's go for the spin. Let's get rid of all of these hazards. Goodbye. <laughs> and the Amistar is gone for basically free. We get to get to keep up our rocks, which is cool. Uh, Blastoise can spin them away, obviously, but I've only taken 28% uh, across my team so far, so that's pretty good. Uh, Siglyph does come out. It does outspeed me. Um, actually, hold on a second. Am I unburdened? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, I think... What's a good play here? Banette might be it. Uh, let's go into Slowking, actually, uh, as he goes for the Psychic, so we're able to take that no problem, and I think I can just T-Wave right here. Does he really go into Manectric on this? Let's see. Uh, he goes into Blastoise. Awesome. Okay, so we're able to, uh, to paralyze that thing. That's cool. I'm going to make the play that he didn't, and I'm going to go into my Banette on this thing's potential Rapid Spin. There we go. Awesome. And now we are just going to go for the uh, very strong knockoff. This is a Mega Banette. I think it has like 471 attack. That did nothing. Wow. What the heck? All right. Um, what can I hit this thing with on the special side? Uh, let's go into Seismitoad as this thing goes for a Foresight to be able to hit me with the uh, with the Rapid Spin. Okay. Uh, we're in with our Rocker, though, so I don't really care. I'm just going to go for Grass Knot. He goes for the Rapid Spin. That's cool. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks again. And uh, the second he gets paralyzed, like, this thing is pretty much done. He actually chooses to switch out into his Banette right there. That's fine. I can just go for the Hydro Pump right here uh, and weaken this thing uh, as we miss, unfortunately. He does get a very big knockoff on us, uh, but I can just go for another Hydro right here. I lose absolutely nothing. Nothing wants to switch in on this. Not even Blastoise because it comes in at 14, so... Uh, he goes for the Sucker Punch as we go for the Hydro Pump. Able to do 56% to this thing. And, uh, let's see if we can play around some Sucker Punches. Huh. Do I want to play around with this? <laughs> I don't really want to. Uh, I could just go into Braviary. No, let's just go for the Hydro. Goes for the knockoff because he outspeeds us anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, Hitmonlee does outspeed this thing, or it speed ties at worst. Uh, Arbanet doesn't have any uh, speed investment though, and uh, he clearly has a very similar move set. So I'm just gonna go for a knockoff right here, be able to knock out this Banette. Uh, actually, does ours have Willow? No, it doesn't. It has Thunder Wave though. Uh, he goes for the Thunder Wave. That's okay, uh, as long as we. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> he can hit us up with pretty much nothing though, so I'm just gonna go for the knockoff as he does uh, his own as well. Gets rid of our life orb, we're able to knock off and knock out his banette, which is awesome. I'm gonna go for the mock punch on this Blastoise, uh, knock it out with that. And uh, now it's looking pretty grim for him. <laughs> uh, he does go into Sigilyph, that is absolutely fine. Um, do I want to keep this for mock punch on the Agron? I think I do actually. I have a Nido King, uh, a, slow, a slow King, excuse me. Not a Nido King, not in this tier. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm just going to fire off a Scald this time. He goes for the Air Slash. Does not get the flinch. Uh, we're able to get off a Scald on this thing. And uh, I'm going to go for the T-Wave. He goes for the Air Slash and misses, unfortunately. That sucks. I'm uh, going to go for another Scald right here. Knock this thing down to 22 as he goes for an Air Slash. Is not able to knock us out. And we will go for the finishing Scald right there. Uh, as Manectric comes in, but I mean, um, I do have Sacks galore. Uh, I don't really need this thing per se because it gets outsped by Agron anyway, so I'm just going to go for a Scald as he goes for a Thunderbolt. Uh, we do see a Life Orb, so that's great to know. He is 339 speed. That's kind of scary um, because this thing can actually put in work on me now. I'm just going to go into Banette, though, and uh, I think I live any hit, so I'm just going to go for the knockoff. He could be expecting the Sucker Punch as he doesn't. And uh, he doesn't get the para either, which is cool. We're able to knock out his Manectric. His Agron comes in. Uh, I'm just going to go for the... If I get full para, though. I have superpower. I'm good. I go for knockoff here. And I get rid of uh, whatever this item this thing is. Uh, actually, hold on a second. Sucker Punch might be the better play in case he's banded. But what if he's not? No, knockoff is definitely always the play. Uh, he actually was choice banded. Uh, he would have locked himself in a head smash and been able to do nothing to Registeel. So... Uh, that's fine though, I just go into Braviary and just click Superpower and knock this thing out. And there we go, that's another win. We are 4-1. and one. Let's continue. See what else, uh, what other kind of theories we can get. Can I get, can I get like an NU, an OU, a UU maybe? Uh, a, uh, a Monotype? <laughs> Whatever, give me, give me anything other than the ones that I've already gotten. Please show down. That'd be really cool of you. This, uh, this mic is really like tilting and doing a bunch of weird stuff. Um... I feel like I've seen his team before. Like, this is UU, obviously, guys. 
but I feel like I've seen his exact team before, like in our last UU Live from two days ago. I feel like I saw this exact team. I don't know, maybe it's just the Crocodile. Anyway, uh, this is a regular DNC, which actually matches up against his team pretty well, other than the fact that I don't have uh, Hidden Power Fire, but that's fine. I think leading with uh, DNC is actually my play. Even though he has a fortress, like getting up rocks is so crucial in this game. Um, breaking fortress is sturdy when it switches out. Um, Gyarados coming in at 75 is awesome. Uh, finding out if the Reuniclus is Magic Guard or Regenerator, which usually it should be Magic Guard uh, in Battle Factory, but it's always good to know. Um, because if it's not Magic Guard, then I can do like pretty cool stuff to it, like Toxic it and stuff like that, so. Uh, just gonna lead off with Yancey as my opponent chooses to lead off with Crocodile, so that's actually a pretty good matchup for me, uh, because I definitely do not die to an Earthquake, at least I don't think so. Um, I can go for Protect right here, scout what kind of uh, Crocodile he is. And uh, I don't know if he's like used to playing OU and he's gonna predict me to Mega Evolve when I can't even do that in this tier, but we will see. Um, I really want to find out what kind of Crook this is, and I also just want to, I haven't run a Calc yet. Uh, so that's uh, that's progress right there And um, I just want to see he already made his move. We're gonna find out what it was in a second uh, Let's see just see regular DNC like the DNC specially defensive set against a crocodile crocodile oh, hold on. Crook uh, Let's say choice band Earthquake knocks me out right 105 to 124 so he has to be choice banded to knock me out uh, he goes for the Earthquake. I'm going to go into Yen Mega on this thing, predicting it to be choice. Let's see. He does go for the Earthquake. That's awesome. Uh, we are not Speed Boost. We're Tinted Lens Choice Specs. Okay, what dying <laughs> right here? What is dying? Like, seriously, guys. I don't know if you know how much this is going to do Fortress. Look at that damage. That's the power of Tinted Lens Bug Buzz <laughs> Choice Specs. That's insane. Like, I can legitimately knock out three Pokemon on his team from full. Uh, not this thing, obviously. Um, so, yeah, maybe I was wrong about that. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's switch out into... Actually, you know what? What reason do I have to not go for another Bug Buzz? Like, look at that damage. And I got a Spidef drop, too. Goes for a Scald. It's going to do half. Does not get the burn. Um, and he can't really stay in here because now this Bug Buzz is going to be doing over half, so... Uh, that's 51%. He goes for the Ice Beam to knock us out. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Um, but, like, I get off a close combat here, I think. I could even Swords Dance, but the problem is the Reuniclus. That's the only thing. Yeah, Mega was really strong. Maybe I should have kept it around. I'd also had uh, Sleep Talk, which, I mean, I don't think that would have come into play this, this game, but you never know. Could have a random sleep powder Reuniclus. I don't know. <laughs> just uh, saying anything at this point. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Dance here. If he wants to switch into uh, Gyarados, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to start crunching that thing. And uh, with plus one speed, uh, yeah, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Uh, we're just going to go for uh, for another D-Dance here, honestly. Like, and if he wants to switch out, like he's, he's risking a lot of Pokemon on his team. Uh, he does go for his own Dragon Dance. We are faster than him, and I'm going to go straight for the uh, the Ice Punch right here. And we're going to get a crit and <laughs> knock out his Gyarados. Wow, that was unfortunate. Not for me, obviously. Uh, we go 5-1, and one, I think, at this point. We're at 23 minutes. I'm going to get one more. Let's see if we can get one of the last two tiers we haven't played yet. 5-1, and one, man. Not bad. Not bad. Quite a streak. This, uh, for anybody that, uh, doubted me, uh, from any one of my past lives, that I wasn't, uh, like, able to win them, like, more than three games in a row, or, uh, or whatever, like, I just got lucky during my recordings, like, this is your proof right here, I know this is just Battle Factory, obviously, and I'm getting a little bit lucky, but, uh, and I hate to brag, <laughs> I really don't like, uh, boasting at all, but I just, like, for anybody that, like, questioned, um, what kind of, like, how, how much skill I had as a player, like, if, you want to take this as your proof go ahead it is battle factory like i said it's not a huge uh huge indicator as to how good i actually am but we get ubers for the third time come on help me out here uh rc is ground um primal kyogre shookaberry dialga soul du latios 
Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is a this is a team I can rock with. Let's lead off with Dialga because we are Shuka. I uh, should be able to take on Excadrill and uh, Landorus's Earth Quake slash Earth Powers. Uh, if I calculate this, Dialga, the sh the set should be here. Uh, AG offensive lead, uh, Shukaberry, yep, yeah. against Landorus I. Brawl out attacker, Earth Power does not knock me out, so that's great. He actually chooses to lead with Salamence, which is awesome for us. Uh, I threaten this thing with the Draco Meteor immediately, so I don't see why he would stay in. So I'm just going to go for Rocks, as my opponent does switch out into Xerneas. Uh, this is not a counter, though. Like, I have Flash Cannon. <laughs> I I don't understand the uh, the point of going into this. He actually get, gets a crit on Close Combat. Fails to knock us out, though, and this Flash Cannon should finish it off. Yeah, I think that was Scarfed. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Scarf normally runs Close Combat, so... A uh, little unfortunate that the Alga went down to 2%, but I mean, at this point, does it really matter? Uh, brings in his Landorus. I'm assuming just a, like a knockoff is coming my way. Yep. Makes sense. He is Life Orb, so that's good to know. Uh, obviously, why would you run anything else on this? Uh, and I think Latios is always my play. Wait a minute. Show me his Draco Meteor switch-ins. Like, this is Soul Dew. This is insanely boosted. Something is dying. <laughs> Like, I think even Excadrill goes down to two. Unless it's Spadef. Like, then it can take it. But e even that, this is basically Specs Draco Meteor going off. So, something, uh, I, I don't know what kind of Arceus form he is, once again. Pretty much every game has added an Arceus form. He does go in Excadrill. Uh, we're able to get off a huge Draco Meteor on this thing. That is a two-hit KO, in fact. Uh, so I can just throw out another one at this point. And uh, nothing really wants to come in on it. Uh, he can go for an Earthquake. Uh, I think we tank. One? Yeah, definitely. There's no way we go down to that. Um, and if he loses this, then he has no way of hitting me with uh, with grounded moves like Earthquake from Salamence and Landorus, uh, things like that. So I'm quite comfortable staying in here. Uh, I want to top this off at 30 minutes, so let's try to make this fast. All right, we get off another Draco Meteor right there. This is stronger than Life Orb, and I'm not losing health. This is awesome. I love it. Uh, he goes into his own Latias. I'm going to go into Aegislash because I pretty much wall this thing. As uh, he goes for the Calm Mind, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we can just throw out a Toxic right here. Uh, pretty much hit anything on his team. I would love for Lando to come in, take Rocks, take Toxic, take an extra round of Toxic because of uh, King Shield. That'd be sick. But uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make that happen. He goes for a Draco Meteor, it does nearly nothing, uh, to be honest. And we go for the Toxic right there. He shouldn't stay in, so I'm actually going to go for the Pursuit on this turn. And uh, hopefully knock this thing down really low with this pursuit. This is a very powerful pursuit. Uh, he actually forfeits. All right, so we're able to clinch out. What is it? Six and one now. Uh, so we get seven games in one episode. That's only uh, 28 and a half minutes long. So that's really cool. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this Battle Factory Live, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe as always. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe if you want to see those LPs I talked about. Uh, the one with Rob and the Tag Lock. It's a Pokemon Emerald Tag Lock. And I will not be revealing which games we are doing yet for the... Uh, uh, for the... Uh, for the other LP that we're doing together. I almost blew it there. I almost said what it was, uh, but I'm not going to be revealing the uh, the games just yet on the co-op with me and Rob. Uh, you guys are just going to have to uh, be subscribed and make sure you uh, see that video when it comes out on that day. So uh, yeah, that's it guys. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.